Hey everyone, so this is the video that goes along with this week's blog post. If you're watching this directly on YouTube, you can just go to the About section of my YouTube page and there is a link to my blog there. So today I'm going to be showing you some of the basic um, tools that you can have to um, do your own at-home manicures and nail designs. So on the blog, I was talking about Paintbox Nails. It's a nail salon out of New York City, and I really like their designs and their color combinations. So I've been looking through my collection and looking for tools and um, stickers and things that um, remind me of that so I can do it at my house. And it's been working out really well for me, and I've also included some of those designs on my blog. So to start out, you're going to want to get some nail polish colors. And you certainly don't have to have this amount of nail polish. Um, I actually took these out today because I was like, well, might as well kill two birds with one stone and just throw away some of the old ones because some of these are not good anymore. Um, but the reason I have this many is because my sisters and my mom are all also really into nail art. So um, this is like our collective uh, collection of polish. So you're going to want to have some colors that you enjoy um, and that look good on your skin color or, you know, they don't have to look on, just on your skin color. Just, I guess, like colors that make you really happy um, and that you like. So some of my colors I'm going to share with you. Um, these are my all-time favorites at the moment. Um, this sky blue one is also one of my favorites right now, but it's not over here because I used it and I think it's downstairs. So I'll show you the other ones. This one, by the way, is like by Revlon as well. So this is Revlon Lilac Pastel. This is like my second or third bottle. Um, I love this color. I think it's super flattering on like any skin color. Um, this one is called Graceful by Revlon. I also love that color. Um, this red is just so classic. It's called Big Apple Red by OPI. This maroon slash burgundy color, I just got this like randomly from Germany, um, but I'm sure you can find like a similar color from any brand. And then this is also another one of my favorites, which I don't think you can get anymore. Maybe you can find it online, uh, but it's Sephora by OPI and it's called Neutral Beauty. So these are some of my favorite base colors right now. And now I'm going to show you like some of the tools that I use to create designs on top of those. <clears throat> so I basically what we did was my sisters and I um, ordered like off of one seller on eBay. We just like bought a value, I think it was called like a value pack or a variety pack of nail art supplies. And it was like from Hong Kong or something super inexpensive. I don't remember how much we paid, but we got so much stuff for what we paid for and these things are working out really well for us so we got these gems like they're it's like a variety pack basically with like all sorts of colors this one's like pink and it has all different sizes in there um and then these are black ones also different shapes and then this one has like a bunch of different types and then these are like more chunky glitters and on my blog I've included a picture of a look that I did using these silver stars on like a royal blue color. Um, these are striping tapes that are a little bit more difficult to use but they're not impossible. These are actually just um, like photo album reinforcements. You can get them from any office store. You could probably get them from the dollar store. And these are great for like half moon designs and creating boundaries. Also these um, French tip stickers that you can use for different things. And these are great for like a lot of the designs that I saw from Paintbox. They look very similar, like you could create the same thing um, if you're not comfortable freehanding um, with your polish. And then the other things are like these like more gems and glitters. And then these are actually just like scrapbook glitters, um, but they work great for your nails too, because you know, glitter is just glitter. And then, oh, this is pretty cool. These are also from eBay. It's like a dotting tool. So you can use it and you can just dip it into your polish and then put it on your nail and it creates like a cute little dot design. And if you go to Paintbox, um, like you can go to their Instagram page. It's called at Paintbox Nails. You can see a lot of their designs incorporate dots as well. So you can use the dotting tool for that. 
um, or you could use like some of these like thicker dotting tools oops sorry and then or if you're not if you don't have dotting tools and you're not interested in getting any yet you could just use these polishes which have like a thinner brush and you could just create dots with that and these are like really inexpensive I'm pretty sure we got all of these from the dollar store um I think that's about it oh these are just some stickers that you can use for like basic designs um, yeah so you can go to my blog and look at some of the designs that we've created or some of the designs that I've linked from Paintbox or you can just go to like Pinterest or Google and just Google some nail art designs and hopefully you'll find something really inspiring and um, happy nail art and also yeah basically you don't have to go to the salon you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to create something that you love so that's pretty much what the main premise of my blog post today was supposed to be so have a great day and thanks for watching